Hi guys, so we're on to part two of today's lesson. We've looked at the three major components of a heart. Those would be the chambers, so the atria and the ventricles, those would be the big blood vessels, and those would be the valves that keep the blood moving in the correct direction through the heart. So we're going to make a simplified version, a simplified drawing of the heart. And the purpose of this drawing is to make a clear pattern for, to show the pattern of blood flow through the heart. All right, so we're gonna call this the heart box because we're going to represent the heart as basically a box. So if you haven't done so already, please get your composition notebook and some colored pencils or markers. All right, so this is gonna be a little tricky for me because I'm learning how to use this stylus and this drawing pad. Nothing's gonna look great here, guys, so just forgive me. All right, but I'm gonna start with a box. All right. And the box is going to represent the four chambers of the heart. Switch over to my brush now. All right, so just draw a box in the middle of uh, a page of your composition notebook. And then we're going to divide that box into the four chambers. So this is gonna be a little awkward. Here's my first line. Woo. And here's my second line. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna be our right atrium. So I'm gonna write that off to the side here. I'm just gonna put right atrium. Or RA, sorry. This would be my right ventricle in here. This is right ventricle. Now remember, we're talking about the patient's right and left, not yours as the viewer's right and left. All right, so now we've got our, eh, like I said, I'm not used to this. All right, so this is gonna be our left ventricle. So I'm just gonna put LV for short. And this is gonna be our left atrium. All right, left atrium, left ventricle. All right. The heart is going to receive blood from the body. So over here next to the right side of the heart, I'm just going to draw a little stick man to represent the body. And then over here, the left side of the heart is going to receive blood from the lungs and give it, the lungs are going to give the blood oxygen. So I'm going to draw some really simplified lungs. Oh, that's terrible lungs. All right. So this is supposed to be your windpipe. The, these are the two tubes that go down into your lungs. So these are lungs. And I'm gonna go ahead and call them the lungs. I'm gonna go over here and label this. This is the body. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to deliver blood to the heart from the body that's now, the, the cells of the body have used up the oxygen. We need to deliver that blood into the right atrium of the heart. And the whole job of the right side of the heart, right atrium, right ventricle, is to get the blood over to the lungs so that it can get oxygen. So at this point, this blood is oxygen poor. I'm going to use the color blue to represent my oxygen poor blood. So I'm going to do that. And I need a big blood vessel to represent the vena cava. And the vena cava is going to deliver blood that's come from the veins of the body into the right atrium. So this is my vena cava. And blood is going to move from the vena cava down into the right atrium. Yay! Okay, from the right atrium, the blood is going to uh, move through a one of the valves. It's going to move through the right AV valve. So I'm going to make little trap doors to represent the right AV valve. Might even go in here and erase that little line between them. 
Okay, so we're from the right atrium. The right AV valve is going to allow the blood to flow down into the right ventricle. All right, so now we're in the right ventricle. We're just following blood through the heart. Okay, so we're going to now leave the right ventricle to go to the lungs. So we haven't gone all the way through the heart yet. We've just gone from the right side of the heart over to the lungs at this point. So I'm going to draw my blood vessel that connects the right ventricle to the lungs. And from yesterday, you might recall this blood vessel is going to be the pulmonary artery. Artery because it's carrying blood away from the heart. All right, pulmonary artery. Ah. Okay, so the blood's gonna continue to flow from the right ventricle and it's gonna move through the pulmonary artery towards the lungs. And it's gonna get oxygen from the lungs. The lungs are going to uh, add oxygen to the blood. We now say it's oxygenated blood. So at this point, I'm gonna switch colors. I'm going to switch to red to represent oxygenated blood. And now this blood's got oxygen. It's going to leave the lungs to go back to the heart. So I'm going to make a blood vessel that goes from the lungs back to the heart. This is going to be the pulmonary vein. Pulmonary always means lungs. Now, this is uh, one of those exceptions to the rule. Arteries always carry blood away from the heart and almost always that blood is oxygenated. The pulmonary artery that we already drew down here is an exception to that rule. The blood is oxygen poor. This veins always carry blood toward the heart. And um, in, in general, that blood is oxygen poor, it's deoxygenated. But this is an exception to the rule. The pulmonary vein actually is a vein that carries oxygenated blood. All right, so let's try to label this. Pulmonary vein. All right, and the blood is gonna flow in this direction. It's gonna come from the lungs. It's gonna move through the pulmonary vein and it's gonna go into our left atrium. All right, from here, we're going to move the blood down into the left ventricle. And so we need another valve that separates this atrium from this ventricle. And again, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to erase this little section here. Okay, so now the blood can move from the left atrium down into the left ventricle and it's ready to go to the rest of the body. The left ventricle is very muscular. It's the strongest chamber of the heart. And the reason for that is it has to be pumped hard enough to pump blood all throughout the body. It has to pump blood hard enough to get up to the brain. It has to pump blood hard enough to get down to the toes. If you look at the right side of the heart, it only has to go next door to the lungs. The heart's in the middle of the lungs. So we don't have to have a really, really strong right ventricle. It's only going to go to the lungs. We do have to have a strong left ventricle because of the distance the blood needs to go. So we need another blood vessel. We're going to move the blood from the left ventricle to the body. So I'm drawing an aorta here. The aorta is that big artery and it's kind of going behind my pulmonary artery there. That's why it's interrupted there. So this is my aorta, the largest artery of the body, and the blood is going to flow from the left ventricle <laughs> through the aorta to the body to deliver that nice, fresh oxygen to the different cells of the body. All right, y'all. So I did leave off two of the valves. Um, it, this is the tricuspid valve and this is the bicuspid valve. But I did leave off another set of valves that should be here. Let me, I'm going to use black for these. All right, there's a valve that separates the right ventricle from the pulmonary artery. This one's going to be the pulmonary valve. And then there's a valve that separates the right, I'm sorry, left ventricle from the aorta. 
this one's going to be the aortic valve. And guys, I'm going to ask you to go in and label those valves for me. I'm not going to do it here because you can see how terribly I can write with this. It's not working out real well for me. But on your picture, would you please label this uh, tricuspid valve? This one, bicuspid valve. And remember, the bicuspid valve is also called the mitral valve. This valve that I put down here, please label it pulmonary valve. And then this valve is the aortic valve. And guys, if you look at the blood flow, if we follow these arrows, you can see that we have an infinite loop that looks kind of like a pretzel. So this infinite pretzel of movement into the right atrium, right ventricle, out the pulmonary artery to the lungs, in the pulmonary vein to the left atrium, to the left ventricle, out to the aorta, to the body. It just keeps going on and on and on. So this infinite pretzel of movement of blood you have to memorize the order in which blood flows through the heart. So your job is to take a picture of the drawing that you made, make sure it's fully labeled, and put it in a Google Doc and submit it to me on Canvas. Thanks, guys. That's it for today. Yay!